Don't fall for the plastic recycling scam. The numbers are in. Single-use plastic pollution is officially a critical threat to the health of our planet. In fact, it's so bad that the plastic in the ocean now outnumbers marine life six to one. You heard that right. For every fish in the sea, there are six pieces of toxic plastic waste floating right next to it. And by the end of this video, you'll learn the three biggest lies the plastic industry has been telling us for decades. Hey friends, it's Maria. What if I told you that approximately 91% of plastic does not end up getting recycled? It's true, and I know what you're thinking. But wait, what about all those little recycling symbols at the bottom of the plastic containers? Well, this brings me to lie number one. Here's the thing, you're right. You do see those little triangle recycling symbols everywhere, but get this, those symbols don't mean recyclable. That's right, those little symbols are not recycling symbols. They're called resin identification codes, and they were invented by the plastic industry in 1988 to trick consumers into thinking that plastic is recyclable. This is the real recycling symbol, and this is the resin identification code. All this symbol tells you is what kind of plastic it's made of. And really, only number one and two are argued to be recyclable. But it's still never a true sure thing because a multitude of factors can make even this plastic unusable. It's true, back in the 70s, the plastic industry received a major backlash as environmentalist groups began to push back on plastic manufacturing and pollution. The plastic companies were afraid that they might have to halt plastic production, so they did the unthinkable. They created a lie so big that it still affects us to this day. They know that as long as people believe that plastic was being recycled, that consumers would continue to buy it. And if you think that was the lowest they'd go, it gets worse. Remember that ad on TV with the quote unquote Native American man cleaning up the litter from the side of the road with a teardrop rolling down his face? Well, first of all, the actor playing the Native American wasn't even Native American. He was Italian. Pretty messed up, right? And this was their way of making you, the consumer, feel like it was your fault that the plastic was a problem. But now you know the truth. And what do you think was behind this deceitful ad campaign? It was the big plastic industry once again trying to trick us into believing that single-use plastic can be recycled. But here's the truth. Only 10% or less of all recyclables actually end up getting recycled. Which brings me to lie number two, that everything you put in the recycling bin gets recycled, but it doesn't. In fact, barely any of it does. Take laundry detergent jugs, for example one of the most common single-use plastic containers to end up in landfills. It's estimated that over 90% of plastic laundry jugs get rejected at the recycling plant because of the goopy chemical paste detergent that leaves the sticky impossible to remove residue on the inside of the jug. And with over 700 million jugs being tossed each year into the United States alone, our planet is in serious danger just from laundry jugs. That's why one of the easiest ways to quickly reduce your carbon footprint is to switch to a refillable laundry soap. We at Truly Free offer our signature laundry wash, which you can refill on your own using your forever jug, and you can grab 100 free loads right now using the link below. But besides goopy, slimy, store-bought detergent clogging up the recycling chain, most plastics are also designed to not be recyclable. Let me say that again. Most plastics are designed to not be recyclable. Listen to this. The same chemical properties that make plastic moldable and flexible also make its lifespan extremely short-lived. And it's actually much cheaper for big plastic companies to simply keep making more from the fossil fuels instead of recycling. By now you're probably wondering, what has plastic pollution affected the most? Well, that would be the ocean, my friend. We've all seen the video of the sea turtle suffering from a plastic straw lodged in its nose, or the baby seal with fishing nets tightly wrapped around its neck. And we can't forget about the millions of other marine animals suffering every day from plastic pollution. Remember that stat I told you earlier about how plastic numbers, all marine life, six to one? Well, get this. What if I told you by the year 2050, it's predicted that plastic in the sea will outweigh all the fish in the sea. And since plastic generally takes 500 to even 1,000 years to degrade, our oceans will soon be completely overrun with plastic to the point we can't even turn back. 
But what if plastic is rigid enough to withstand a thousand years against the elements? Then why is it also too flimsy to be recycled? This brings me to plastic lie number three, that plastic can be reused to make another plastic product? Well, the truth is most plastics can only be downcycled. Let me explain. The big plastic industry wants us to believe that if we recycle a plastic bottle, it'll go into that nice triangular recycling loop and cycle back as a new bottle, totally replaced. Well, my friends, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Most plastics will simply end up in the landfills and the 10% that does get recycled will likely be downcycled into the plastic pellets used for manufacturing and other goods. Meaning that plastic bottles don't get replaced since it's cheaper for the big plastic companies to make new bottles for the oil and natural gas. In other words, we'll just keep dumping plastic into landfills and throughout the ocean. The big plastic companies will simply keep making more and more and more money. The worst part of this major plastic overproduction, it's estimated that by the year 2040, plastic pollution in the ocean will have tripled to 29 million metric tons of plastic. And that is exactly why all of these huge ad campaigns about recycling are actually funded by big plastic companies and their buddies, the oil companies. So you might be thinking, so Maria, what the heck can I do? Well, for starters, you can keep recycling. I know, I know, I just went through all of this detail about how recycling efforts are being wasted, but at the very least, we are recycling 10% of plastics. So keep recycling, because with further reform and more activism, we could increase that number more and more every year. Next, we need to get plastic manufacturers to disclose not just if something is recyclable, but what the real impact on the environment as a whole is. We need them to tell us as consumers what toxins are being emitted into the environment from the product. How long will it take to decay? How much water was used when manufacturing this product? And finally, one of the easiest things you can do right now is to switch to a refillable laundry jug at home. Here at Truly Free, we make the world's most amazing plant-based laundry soap that you can refill right at home. You use this forever jug and enjoy the fresh, clean clothes without ever tossing another plastic laundry jug again. In fact, over 200,000 families have switched to our refillable laundry system and have greatly reduced their carbon footprint already. And get this, Truly Free family members have already saved an estimated 4 million plastic bottles from entering the ocean just by using their refillable jug. And as for those pesky plastic surface cleaner bottles, plastic dish soap bottles and other plastic containers causing you so much clutter, we have a 100% refillable replacement for each store-bought product in your home. And these products will save not just an immense amount of plastic pollution, but also a crazy amount of space under your sink. Let me tell you. Finally, if you're ready to drastically reduce your carbon footprint, help us fight the single-use plastic epidemic and enjoy the freshest, cleanest clothes of your life, I have an offer for you. Right now, go below this video because I'm hooking you up with 100 free loads of our amazing laundry wash just for watching this video to the end. But make sure you activate yours today because this offer is only available for a very limited time. Thank you so much, friends, for sticking around. Remember to keep recycling, and I'll see you later as we continue our truly free journey together.